Hi everyone, Archana here. Uh, weather is still really bad, very cold. Uh, it's pouring outside. Last night we had really uh, cold, icy rain. So I thought I'll just spend some time in my craft room. So let's make a tag. I didn't think of anything. Um, let's see how how it come out. Um, randomly we are making a tag. So I got a Prima's uh, this tag pad, the old one, last year's, which I love. And my almost, almost now all time favorite ink is this one. This is super, super pretty color. So um, let's make a tag. Um, actually, I need to make a bunch of tags for a swap, but I didn't think about it yet what to do. And the theme was shabby chic, of course. <laughs> People want all shabby stuff right now. Um, so I have this pad laying around the Prima ly lyrics. I guess it's lyrics are divine collection pad. And I got one of the piece, which was lifter piece from that pad. So uh, it's perfect size. So I thought, why not? Okay, so we will use this one. And of course I need to just turn the edges. So we will quickly make it a little bit old looking thing. I think I will just do it on one side. How about that? And again, some distressing. And uh, as you all know, I do have a tons of wild orchid craft flowers in my store, so please visit. And they are really good price, shipping from USA, so USA people can take advantage of this beautiful shopping. Um, and I also do have some flowers coming up from directly from thai people thai villagers i do love their flowers so my um, custom made flowers are coming up and i'm sure you will love them because this time the collection is will be or is stunning so keep checking my store and uh, you can make your spring projects really pretty using those flowers. Of course, any projects. Uh, one more thing, I do have these beautiful, wonderful quality product in my store, which I, which already I have shown some of them, and these are new ones. I love these corner ones. So please check it out. There are birthday, I love you, and some uh, other words as well. These are di divergent dyes, and. I have this piece already cut here so again we will distress that I love this ink this is really really uh, it, this ink has a little bit pink uh, shade in it so um, if you use pink flowers on your projects it it looks really good um, but the other ink, vintage photo ink, it's a little bit darker for my choice. So I think this one is perfect. And now we are going to get one more piece on top of that. Let me check what color should we use. Mm, okay, let's use this one. And quickly I'll cut the smaller piece. That's perfect. And I'll just cut it like that. And then we will just, of course, give some aged effect here.
this is pretty and I don't want that more dimensional since I'm using lots of flowers here so mostly I am keeping my paper pieces flat I don't want to use any pop dots under these but actually, um, yes, we will do that. Actually, I need to use some lace also. So, we'll do that. So, pop dots are always good you, um, if you want to stick anything underneath, like uh, tuck in thingies, like laces or uh, cheesecloth or some kind of banners or something so you can just easily you have a, that gap to fill in let's see how it look now perfect perfect Okay, now what we'll do, I do have some lace here laying around, so I need to use that somewhere, so let's see if I can, where is my scissor? And this, this lace, these paper pads, everything is available at my store. So please check it out. And if you have any questions, concerns, please email me if uh, regarding uh, purchasing and uh, or uh, shipping. Sometimes um, you cannot able to see the exact shipping. So uh, mostly for international people. So please feel free to email me. And the second thing, some people don't have PayPal, doesn't have PayPal and they really want to shop. So even though they, it has a PayPal option, you just click on the PayPal option even though you don't have an account. But under that option, you will get to choose debit card or credit card. So you can uh, use your debit card or credit card without using PayPal service. So please make sure that thing you can able to use your cards for shopping so now what do we all do I do have this beautiful perfect size um, bird cage I love bird cages and everything we all do but I really don't like this sticky back never never ever like that because it's not coming up so we cannot take it off easily it's like a yeah I'm I'm lucky today that I took it off easily <laughs> sometimes it takes like yeah so this one we will I think I'm going to just so it real quick so let's do it. Here is my brush. I wasn't prepared for this tag. I'm just randomly trying to make this video. So please bear with me. I don't have even either good brush. This brush is so dry, so old. But it's okay. I'm not painting on a canvas. When I'm, I do my painting from long time, I didn't do any canvas painting since all these kind of uh, things I am working on more than my old hobby paintings. I really, really wanted to take care of these brushes now. Sure. But anyway. Hmm. I hope you are still here with me. <laughs> okay, what we'll do, I have a sponge here somewhere. So I will just use the sponge. And this sponge gives uh, that, that 
spongy holes are here so it gives some kind of um, effect on your things where you are using that gesso if you want to take a look closer you can see as it is not a smooth pen a smooth thing like it is kind of matte finish look so quickly dry Stick it on here like that actually I really wanted to use a hot glue gun but it's not ready for me right now so just use this fabric tag it's good glue but it will take a little bit time to dry so that's okay for me I love this glue but it's so stringy so sometimes I don't like the way it looks, all those strings all over. Yeah. So I'll stick it right here since I wanted to show that sweet heart. The sweet word. Okay. Now my projects are not always completed without flowers. So let's see I still do have some lilies left over here I showed in my last video but that video was first fast forwarded but I really wanted to quickly show you how they look you know what they are so super pretty what you are seeing in a picture on any website stores everywhere those pictures really really doesn't give any justice to these pretty flowers so i'll try my best to show you perfect size perfect color and perfect texture so these flowers look like that i and i am totally in love love with these flowers and i'm sure you all will like them and it comes in four different shades in a pack so you have plenty of flowers to use and one more uh, another flowers i'm i really love Wilder Kid Crafts are the hip roses, hip birds. Can you check this one? It just looks like a real, real roses. And the quality and the colors, everything is so pretty. So these are my my favorite, one of the favorite flowers and the colors. And I have a plenty of colors, even though, uh, even I do have these kind of shades, like four different shades in a, in a bird. Suppose if you want to use these colors, Lily, I'll show you. You can you can mix match with these birds. You can see the colors. I hope you can really see the perfect colors. Sorry for the glare. So these all are perfectly matched together. If you want to use the same color, if your project needs similar colors but different flower. So look at this. So pretty. And then they match together even though I do have a small roses large roses like trillias cottage roses and everything matches together if you want and i do also have these wild rose birds the larger rose birds and i love these i do have two colors white and this one and even i do have a lot of carnations and also i have this color and i do have a carnations in these colors um where it goes these colors i do have these four colors carnations as well even yellow blue purple so i'm just i'm just enjoying my time with my packaging to my friends my customers i'm just each and every package i'm just carefully and with with my love i'm sending to everybody so yeah I'm a flower freak, I admit. So what we will use here? And I do have this, these ones. Can you see? Whatever you see in the pictures are different. But when you see in a real, look at these flowers. How pretty are those? They look really different. See? So pretty. 
so since I my project does have this peach color I don't want to use any pink color flowers uh, even that this set has a peach color thing. it's not totally pink color so this color is perfect for this project right so we'll use that so I will just zoom in a little bit um look at those flowers i just i'm just keep staring them from long time and finally i took one back for me from my store and i just couldn't resist to use them so here we go and these are really easy to work with those uh, those uh, wires are very smooth soft they are not that hard and not harmful for us Oh, let's see um, I don't want to use any flowers right here otherwise okay we will do that actually I don't want to hide the words but we will take care of that let's see and I want one large flower for and these are also in store look at those pretties yum yum yummies oh my goodness gosh these are so pretty so I'll just put one right here and underneath we will just make a flower cluster or clutter clutter right right here I don't want to hide the word as well as that cute little birdie here. So we will take care of that. And I think I need one more flower like this. And some of them are not fully open. So you can keep it as it is like a bird. Or if you want open, you can easily open one. Open that. And these are so soft. The paper is so super soft and high quality. They are not like a chippy chippy paper flowers. Okay, so what else do we use? I think I need some stick pins. Hmm. Anyway, um, I think I need some flower birds right here. So I will check if I have any loose flower birds laying around. Then I can use them. I do have right here. Yes. So I do have these colors. Look at these. These are also available so pretty look at the quality and the like i love that hip rose bird and i got this pale pink color which comes in that earth tone one of the one of the color from the earth tone and this is like a like a like this one like shabby tote color mm, like this one exactly match with this color can you believe i just noticed that so this shabby tote and these birds are awesome. So they match together. Wow, that's amazing. So let's use this one. I'll just under here awesome don't you think this this looks pretty I'm sorry so cute that is it actually for this kind of uh, small tag and we will need one uh, banner right here so I do have these wood veneers 
let's see if I can get any banner this one is hello dear this says hello dear but I think this one is a little bit bigger no that's perfect size okay let me check it. what does this anyway so this is perfect so what we'll do of course some some shabby look And I really want to give some touch of gesso, just like here and there. I don't like pouring gesso all over on the pretty, pretty flowers because I don't know why. I don't really know. Some people are just using a too much gesso for their flowers. So I just, it's my, my opinion. I'm so sorry if I'm hurting somebody's feeling. I'm so super sorry. But yes, just a touch of gesso. Alright. So, that is it. So, I'll quickly try this one. I just use my sponge to give a little bit texture all right that's okay even though we put just so we can still see the um, shabby tooth dis uh, distress or the chalk effect right here. And I don't want any dimensions. I'm just direct directly sticking on my project. So perfect so this is my tag and it's it needed a charm dangling charm which I don't have right now but I do have a sim binding which I got it from Natasha I got it from Natasha this one so it's plenty though so I will use some of them here um, yeah, I don't have much seam binding. I, I never shopped seam binding actually. <laughs> and it perfectly match with this project, don't you think? So uh, I'm really bad at this thingy. Okay. So what we'll do. I need to learn how to tie a bow. I actually learned that before a long time. Let's see if I can do it right now. So if you do that four finger thingy or maybe three finger thingy and then if you go from here to the back and and I guess this one and this oh gosh <laughs> oh my goodness I'm so sorry okay we will just figure out what to do how to do I just make a knot right here ha <laughs> ha super ugly oh I'm so sorry we will just hang it like that right here just a regular knot
I'm really bad at crocheting and like using the threads a nice way. Hmm. I need a help here people. I need to take a classes to make a good bow. But anyway, this is my tag. I hope you like it. So this is awesome. I'll just zoom out. Isn't it pretty? Look at those pretty, pretty um, flowers. All right, this is it. I'm so sorry I took a long time. I, I, I wanted to fast forward the video, but I, I just wanted to chat with you people. So thank you so much everybody for watching. Bye.